I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. I view myself as, you know, slightly above average in talent. And where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. You know, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. Work as hard as you possibly can on one thing and see what happens. And that's also predicated on this idea that discipline is a precondition to freedom. All we see is the result, the main play. But we never see what happens before the curtains open or the amount of rehearsals before the performance. So we assume it's just talent. But there's something else, a secret, that not many people know about. And that is hard work. Stop thinking of how to make a million. Just go make $10 and do everything 10 times as hard. Now, it's going to be hard. Understand that. It's going to be very hard. But you ain't got nothing else to do. Because let me tell you something about being not successful. Being not successful, that's really hard, too. So you might as well apply yourself to something that has a benefit. I'm telling you, that's how you make a million dollars. Quit tripping. Quit tripping. You have the way God has already given it to you to make $10. All you got to do is do it in multiples. That's all anybody do. The person begins to think that their talent will do it all for them and that they no longer need to work hard. But the truth is, no matter how gifted you are, you still need to work hard. Because hard work isn't just one of the ways you can succeed. It is the only way you can succeed. Some people just sit there, wasting their gift, relying on talent to do it all. And that strategy isn't a real strategy, as nothing in the world, not even talent, can lead you to achieving your goals in an easy way. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. People have a totally misconstrued vision and perception of how long it takes and what it takes. And because of that, you know, when it's hard or it takes longer than they want it to take or things don't go their way, they automatically fall back on the excuse of, you know, it wasn't meant for them or the universe is against them or, you know, they start to believe in the lottery principle of success, like the success fairy that comes down and picks certain people, right? Instead of just saying, hey, I'm, I haven't been doing this long enough or I haven't been working hard enough or I haven't been doing what it takes, it's easier to put the blame off somewhere else except that in your mind that success is something that is uh, luck-based or chance-based or happenstance instead of just taking responsibility and say, hey, I didn't do what the fuck it takes. It's going to require a lot of work on your part, an ongoing process of personal and professional self-mastery. And it's going to require that you begin to see yourself worthy of the requirements in terms of effort, in terms of commitment, in terms of action, in terms of preparation, or whatever it is that you need to do in order to take your life where you want to take it. Only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. I will not be out work, period. And so all you have to do is look at your game plan, look at your strategy. How is it that you have been being? What is it that you've been doing to produce this? So you're the director, you're the producer, you're writing the script, you're the star of your life. And as you begin to look at your life, you can decide whether or not it's a smash or whether or not it's a flop. That's in your hands. Look at your life, look at where you want to go. Don't worry about your circumstances. Don't worry about your age. You might have more talent than me, you might be smarter than me, you might be sexier than me, you might be all of those things, you got it on me in nine categories. But if we get on the treadmill, right, there's two things, you're getting off first or I'm gonna die. It's really that simple. I don't know what you want to achieve with your life. Here's what I know about you, that you have greatness within you, that you have things and gifts and talents that you've been bestowed with. But as you work consciously, making a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to cultivate and bring them out and develop a sense of purpose in knowing that your life can make a difference, decide to make and leave a legacy with your life. I say to you that the planet will never be the same again because you showed up.